Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Crowley House Flower Farm. This week, we are going to tackle the cool garden. And what we're gonna do is just kind of spruce it up, get all the little baby weeds that spring rains have induced. Uh, we're gonna get those under control. We're gonna put down a fresh layer of compost and it's gonna be exciting, I think. I love doing this kind of stuff. Even though it is a lot of work and I'm gonna be sore tomorrow, it's gonna be so worth it. This is one of my favorite gardens and I think it's because it is in those cool shades of blues and whites and creamy yellows and this little pops of burgundy that come through. Anyways, it's, it's a fun garden. <laughs> so I'm excited to take you along with me as we work on it today. So this garden, it's up against the road and it had this big brush hedge that is just very, very old and starting to lean and fall. And so the other day I tackled it along with another helper and we just took a chainsaw and we just started whacking it back. So my idea is, is that I want to push this back towards the road, but not all the way and eventually put in a fast growing hedge, probably like a laurel of some sort that would get pretty big and bountiful pretty quickly just to help with the dust control on this side of the house. So today I'm gonna have to tackle it just a little bit more. You can tell it's just kind of fallen over even since the last time. This is the weird thing about it. It all leans really far. So it's a little bit frustrating because every couple years we have to cut it back way far and then it just kind of comes, keeps coming and coming and coming. So it's a big chore and so I am tackling it a little bit at a time and I did get a pretty big dent in it. You can kind of see literally how far I got. It was a lot of work. Just tackle it back. Okay, so I have Brayden helping me today a little bit. And uh, so yeah, I won't be tackling it quite by myself, which is less daunting, I think. It's always good to have somebody help you in the garden. We're hoping to get at least half of it done today. We'll see how far we get. So I got all my tools, my kneeling pad, some buckets, wheelbarrow to put all the weeds in. I think I'm good to go. a few plans for this garden today. I wanna try and just get this kind of weeded up. And then I I don't know if you watched a video on dividing hostas. I divided a whole bunch of hostas in, earlier this winter. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a hosta garden out here. So I'm gonna try and get, I think we had about 20-ish hostas that we divided. I'm gonna try and get them in the ground because they're already starting to push through. I also have a big bed of Japanese anemones here that needs to be moved. These are white and they are absolutely stunning, but they've kind of creeped all over and they don't get quite enough sun to perform really super well. So I'm gonna try and propagate some of those. Braden's gonna come in and dig up a few. We've got a tray for them and we're just gonna make babies out of them and move them on to another garden, which is probably the circle garden. That's what's fun about this time of year. You know, you can kind of go through and propagate and pull out a few starts as they're coming up, move them around to other parts of the garden. And I tell you, that is a huge money saver. If you can figure out how to do that, there's also, there's this lilac bush here. It's got some great lilacs, shoots coming up. I can take some of those and make more lilacs if I wanted to. You know, there's just all these endless things. If you come out in spring and you can kind of get it before they mature enough, some plants you can't do that, but uh, a lot of plants you can kind of do that, like snowdrops. It's great to divide them now, move them into other parts of the garden. So it's a it's a win-win, really. Uh, you just kind of have to try it, trial and error, and you know make it happen. Okay, as I'm going through the garden, I came across this absolutely stunning 
beauty. And I did not plant this, and part of me, you know, my mom just passed, but one of the flowers that was her favorite was the violet. And literally there's this tiny little violet growing amongst these irises. I've never seen this before. I've been in this garden for years, so this is quite the treat. So this is the beautiful little flower. You can find them a lot of times in the woodlands and they have this amazing smell. I have no idea where it came from, but um, I ordered a few this year and they haven't come yet. But, so I'm gonna just go around here and gingerly, you know, weed this, let her have some breathing room here. I'll probably want to move it maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe when the other ones come in, I might stake this one and just say, here she is, because these irises are gonna get absolutely huge. Oh, but man, this was quite the delight, almost like my mom's in the garden with me, which this is my favorite garden, so it makes sense. Well, we had a little spring squall or <laughs> storm come through. So we're tucked underneath a big tree. We're just gonna wait it out. It actually feels really good because we've been working really hard. So a nice little break. I think I'm gonna go get some water. So I've pulled out, or Braden and I have been pulling out some of this daisy, which is horrific. It's beautiful and I love it in bouquets, especially like that classic daisy wedding. <laughs> it's really fun, but it, it just gets away. So every single year we have to come in here and pull out majority of it. And then it just comes back beautiful. But I thought to take a couple of these up to my dad's house, which I'm redoing his gardens as well. So I'm just gonna add in some of this. His gardens are much bigger than mine. So this will fill in nicely and be able to spread as it wants to. But yeah, it's just little clumps. We're just digging out of this little plot. Right here, I have a ton of these Japanese anemones. I mean, they have just grown plorific throughout this. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull some of them out. They don't get quite enough sun here, and so I need uh, to move a lot of them. They still, some of them do survive, but they're not like, you know, doing very well, other than they like this ground for whatever reason. So I'm gonna pull, just start propagating some of these, or pulling them out to propagate, and uh, create new plants. And it's pretty easy, you just kinda dig down and carefully lift. They're almost like strawberries. They kind of go on like these runners, I guess. It's kind of cool. So there's like two plants right here, like literally very giving plant, super easy. So I'm gonna go through here and just pull out what I can and see if I can make a new garden somewhere else. So I have a couple spots of echinacea that I wanna move out. They just don't get enough sun here at all. They did when I first planted them. That's how gardens are. So because I planted this lilac here and the house shades the plants over here, that is why the echinacea has to come out. So I have two little spots of it that I'm gonna pull out and move, I think, over to that garden. So I'll probably divide this in half so it will make a few more plants. So that'll be kind of cool. I had another clump somewhere, I don't know where it went. Oh, over here, I found it. It's a little tiny thing. 
taking a break. Okay, so now all I have to do is I'm gonna go through and rake really quick. Just kind of make sure I got all the little bits and pieces of all the weeds out. And then Brayden and I are gonna start spreading just a light layer, probably about an inch or two of compost over everything. We're not done with this garden. Oh, I have so much more to pull out, but we're running out of time. And uh, so, and we're supposed to get some rain coming in here shortly. So I just wanna just get part of that done. And so it looks a little bit better and get just a few of my hostas planted as well. I do have a little spot back here that I had pulled a dogwood tree out of the front garden. It was just getting way too much sun because we had a tree fall in an ice storm and it was just frying and looking ridiculous. So Braden and I thought it might be a good idea to pop it over in the garden as well. We have a little spot. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that today or another day, but I'm thinking I'm gonna leave that spot open for that idea. I have a few other things in my head that I might put there. So I'm just gonna think on it for a little bit. And I think that's what gardens are about is just thinking things through. You plant something one year and then it's just, you know, it's just not working for you or it takes over just kind of like that Japanese anemone. It just takes over and you just have to dig up some of it, move it to another garden or another area or give it away to a friend. So in my case, I'm just going to move it to another garden. But anyways, it's going really well. I know I'm going to be sort of around feeling it already. Okay, so Brayden is working on putting down some compost and uh, this is a lot bigger job than we thought. So we're gonna come back to it tomorrow. We're gonna pick back up and keep working, even if it's raining. Um, well, it'll be fine just spreading the compost. It's beautiful compost we had delivered this morning. The compost is absolutely beautiful. Yes, it is. It came this morning. No, last year when we got compost, it wasn't that great. And so we kind of made sure this year, we made that mistake last year so this year we were making sure that it was beautiful so Braden was my checkpoint because I wasn't here on the farm Correct. he made sure it looked good before the guy left and um, yeah okay so we're gonna pick back tomorrow Hooray. thanks for your help bud thank you fist pump to tell you working outside on the quiet of the evening just settling the mind and brain and spring is one of those things where I've got the evergreen clematis blooming right now just blooming its head off beautiful white blooms with the most sweet fragrance it is amazing and I'm just you know enjoying myself it's a lot of work and my back's gonna kill tomorrow, but that's okay because boy, it is so rejuvenating. So I have my pile of loot that I grabbed out of this garden and I'm going to propagate or move to other gardens. Not a bad haul, I would say. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of fun seeing what you can glean off a garden. Okay, so I am done for the night. I think it's coming along pretty well. I started thinking just kind of, you know, lost in my own head as I'm working away here in the garden. I'm thinking I have some beautiful um, peach foxglove that I thought I would throw into here. And I think just mingling that with the, the blues and the creams and whites and burgundies and kind of that blushy pink 
would be fantastic in this garden. So I'm gonna be moving a few things around. I've still got to cut back the ferns. You can see the little fronds kind of sticking up now. They're kind of pushing through. So the new fronds and the old ones just look frankly a little tattered, kind of like me right now. So, and then I'm gonna just kind of scatter some fertilizer down on a few of the plants that look like they need a little bit of loving. So yeah, I, overall it's a pretty good afternoon here in the garden. I think I tackled a lot. I'm excited just to get that yuck bush bank of I don't even know what it is we've been slowly kind of working on it it's oh, oh it's a big undertaking you know over the next couple of years I think it's gonna look really really great once once we get that cleaned up and like I said you know just chunk things out like today I'm not gonna finish this garden today and we're gonna pick up back on it tomorrow and see what else we can get accomplished okay I'm gonna head in for the night Well, it's another day because the rainstorm came and it lasted for about two days and it was just blustery and rain, so much rain, oh my gosh, and it was cold. So it was really hard to get out into the garden. So we did some indoor chores and then I ended up taking the kids to, we just decided to head on down to the coast and the beach is probably 45 minutes away. So we ended up going down to a little town called Tillamook. And if you know anything about Tillamook, they are famous for their cheese. So we went and visited there and it's just a beautiful area and we did a little bit of antiquing and just hung out for the day with some lunch it was actually more for you know a half a day kind of thing but it turned out absolutely stunning in fact it was kind of funny because we left here and it was just so stormy and gross thinking that the beach was going to be worse and it actually was sunny and beautiful I mean oh there was it was just I felt like we were chasing the sun and we found it and it was just perfect so the day turned out absolutely beautiful so Braden and I are back at it today we're working on the cool garden again we're just finishing up laying down more compost so now all I have to do is I'm gonna go grab the hostas that I developed this last winter and I'm going to just pop them in here as well and then lay down the rest of the compost and then I'm gonna try and get some of those little starts that we had propagate out of this little garden and I'm going to get them into some four inch pots and get them going. So I'm just using an all-purpose potting soil that we use to do even some of our starts, but this we buy in bulk and it works really, really well. So I got these all potted up. These are just little four inch pots and I'm gonna have to move them on to probably a larger pot here shortly, but I just wanna see if they will establish here in their little new homes first before I bump them up. So yeah, they've got one full tray. I have even more, so I'm not sure. Probably make another tray full. Get these watered in here and call it good. So now I'm just gonna grab all my hostas and get them moved on over to that garden. So I went ahead and brought over the four-wheeler loaded with all of our beautiful hostas that we had propagated and separated. And I found a couple snowberries that I thought we would pop in as well. And uh, thought I'd try and find a place for them. This is my load. I'm gonna get them set out, see where I want them.
I think we've finished up the look aspect of everything as it stands. Um, we just laid down all the compost we thought it needed, uh, spread it out nicely, so I think it, it looks really good. And then my mom will show you the rest of the garden. I don't know. As you can see, we have a lot of garden plans underway. We have to take out this whole hedge here, cut it back, plant something new, and I've got to whittle away at that because it is a big project. But for now, I feel like the garden is where in a point that I can really enjoy it and kind of walk away from it. Well, you can never walk away from a garden, but you know, just walk away today and very pleased with the amount of work that we got done. So along with these projects we have, I have a little pathway that I'm not sure what I'm gonna put it in, maybe some creeping thyme. I might put down some bark or I have some more stone and maybe a combination of everything. It goes out to our tank that has our gas that gets filled every once in a while. And then the, also the electrical pole is right there. So I kind of want to keep it open. Not totally for sure yet. The other thing I have is back here. I have this, you know, I got this old fountain and it's got electricity back here, but I want to hook up something different and new. This one's made out of copper. It's starting to deteriorate. So um, it has a little bit of a leak in it. So I want to get something else built there. So there's a lot of things over the the next couple weeks that we're going to be working on. I don't know if I'll get it all done this year, but for now, I think the garden looks really, really good. So if you haven't subscribed yet, we would love to have you tag along with us here at Crowley House. Give us a big thumbs up, a comment below. Let me know what you thought of this garden as we rejuvenated it, propagated, and moved plants around. So I hope you enjoyed this week's video, and until next time, much success in all you do and grow. We'll be seeing you shortly back here at Crowley House very soon. Bye-bye!